The God who should be feared. Verse 7 says, Thou, even thou, art to be feared. <clears throat> and who may stand in thy sight when once thou art angry? <clears throat> the God of the Bible is the sovereign God of the universe that spoke worlds into existence and formed man out of a lump of dirt. Who angels rose up against and failed and Adam, that lump of dirt... Lost his place in paradise. The list goes on because God is not to be trifled with. If there's anything we've lost in the 21st century church is a healthy fear of God. God is a gracious God. God is a loving God. But we forget to our shame, to our arrogance, to our ignorance, to our foolishness, that God is holy. Is not to be is to be feared. In fact, he reminds us in those verses the only safety from the righteous judgment of God is to be found in one location. And it's not a Baptist church. It's not baptism. It's experiencing birth in Jesus Christ. That's my only hope. I got nothing to cling to. I don't need no piece of paper that shows that I'm a member. I don't need nothing, a baptismal certificate. I'm not against any of those things. But I've got to know my name through Christ in his blood written in the Lamb's book of life. That only saves me from the wrath of God. You can play church all you want to. Go straight to hell. You can strike up a little bit of religious walk in your life and feel good about yourself. Hey, it's not about my righteousness. It's about his righteousness. Listen to me. I've got no righteousness outside of Christ. Amen. I'm, and I heard this just the other day on something, and I was reminded of it, and I forget who said it. But I'm just a beggar showing another beggar where bread's at. That's all I am. I have nothing. I have no claim. I have no pedigree. I've got nothing but Jesus. That's our only safety. That's why he says, who may stand? Nobody will stand outside of a relationship with Jesus Christ. 